Here's a video I made. I'm going to try and make a series of videos on how to actually connect the roof for a room addition to a variety of different types of buildings, give you an idea how to frame the roof. Now this was actually a request. Someone emailed me a few days ago. They wanted to know how they could do it if they had a gable roof and they were going to offset the room addition. So this wouldn't, uh, it would be a little easier to do if the edge of the room addition lined up with the edge of the house. But if you're going to do an offset to a room addition, then something like this will probably work just fine. Now remember, this is just one way to do this. There are other ways to uh, go about doing it. And this would be a false valley in here. Um, and again, we'll take a closer look at that. Uh, let's take a look around the bottom of the addition, give you an idea how the rafters connect to the fascia board. There's how it would connect to the ridge. Now, you could always use roof trusses. This won't be a problem. You could use roof trusses and uh, just fill, use a... Uh, I guess they call it California fill. I mean, I'm not. I don't hate to use words that you might not be familiar with, if you're not uh, in the business. And who knows, you might not use that word anyway. But uh, roof trusses would work just fine, instead of ceiling joists and roof rafters. You would just need to redo this area here a little different. So again, here we can. Now this is another way. Here, I have the fascia board going over to the edge. You could always uh, stop the fascia board here, connect it to here, or do something different. I ran it over to the edge to give it some extra support. Um, gable stud, or put some studs underneath the roof rafters here, or you can frame a wall all the way up. Your existing rafter or trusses would be here. Now, this, if you have a truss roof system, and this could even apply for a conventionally framed roof system, where you have two by six roof rafters, two by eight roof rafters. Don't forget the original roof was designed for the uh, purpose of the building. It uh, might not be designed to carry additional weight. So that's why I always, you know, you hear me saying, uh, seek the advice of a structural engineer. That's always going to be worth it. You know, um, mm -hmm. if you're putting on a 10 by 10 room addition and you're only going to be going onto the roof about uh, four or five feet, that might not be as big of a problem as, you, as if you were putting on a... 20 foot wide room addition with a um, 6 and 12 pitch where you'd be coming really you'd be coming far into the into the existing home or putting a lot more weight on to the existing rafters hope that makes sense it built a little wall here and this could probably be done different way um, uh, and then this would it's so all of this would be original you'd just be adding this right here and the reason why I ran the rafter over to here was to make all of this work out underneath. So you'd have your original sheathing coming down, dying into the rafter here. And um, and then, of course, you would block this and then put some stucco or siding up here and then everything would work out. There's the top plates on the wall, the rafters notch around it. The last rafter, of course, wouldn't be the same as this. But again, I was doing it so that I could uh, block the area off so that everything underneath would finish nice. And the ridge would come in, sit on top of the sheathing. And this is actually called fill, is what we used to refer to it, or California framing. So if you were going to use trusses, the trusses would stop here at the wall wherever they could uh, wherever they'd be sticking they would have to sit on top of the wall framing and then you would just fill this area in you'd follow the same principles that I have here except the ridge would butt up against the trusses so the first truss that you would have uh, or the farthest truss here you just butt the ridge up against that truss and then start filling in the rafters pan out a little bit here give you an idea and like I said this is just one way to do this this isn't the only way mm 
different angle or different view of the fill. You always want to make sure that you have boards uh, that are sitting on top of the roof flat boards that are supporting the edge of the roof rafter. I've actually seen people just put one board over here and this is all unsupported and that's not good. So always make sure that you have the edge. Let's zoom in here. Always have the far corner of the rafter supported when you notch this. And let's zoom over to the Faults Valley. You can see here this plywood, your existing plywood, would sit on top of the original rafters. And then you would just notch this area out to uh, notch it out so that you can put the sheathing in or whatever you're going to use, starter board, 1x6 or 1x8 shiplap, tumbling groove, something like that. So anyway, I hope this uh, helps. And if it does, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button.